For this episode of Banks of the City, I'm very excited to be joined by Thomas Aban, who is going to be releasing The Sheik's Legacy at Ice House on Thursday, August 17th. Welcome, Thomas. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're very welcome. You were actually on the very first ever episode of Back to the City. Yeah. You performed uh, the song Echo live in studio. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I've been really enjoying uh, listening to, to the full album. Mm. And uh, yeah, let's begin on a, on a very kind of general level. It's called A Sheik's Legacy. So why, um, why a sheik and, a, and why legacy? Two, you know, two questions. Well, the deep end. The, yeah, <laughs> um, I think the name the name just fits fits the collection of songs that I chose. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, a sheik is it, to me is a, is like a mysterious king or almost like a like a prince or a ruler that's in my mind it's somebody who does, who is is maybe in search of their throne or something like that. Um, and then a legacy. In search of the strength. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Just something. It's it's more it's more mysterious to me because you know if it's sort of African or uh, um, Arabic yeah. um, origin, um, and then a legacy just like the beginning of one or um, um, or fi again finding a legacy or starting a legacy or. You know, that kind of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. A search, I'd say. Yeah, as, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of those things. Um, so, uh, something also will say thank you. So, there's, let's shift to the song and sing. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not in a place to determine whether you're a saint. But, <laughs> <laughs> but with the song grapples with the with uh, with whether or not one is. And it has a reference to the throne. You said, like, the, the sheik is, like, in search of the throne. The lyric in the chorus of the sinner is, I'll stay on my throne instead of feeling like a sinner in the arms of an angel. Mm. And then later on in the song, actually, there's a, you know, there's a reference to death. There's lots of references to death mm. in the record. So what's the significance of that song? Is that particularly significant in terms of the characterization of the sheik? You said he, the sheik is searching for the throne, mm. but in this one, the, you know, the lyric is, I'll stay on my throne and it's instead of thinking of oneself in the way that the song, the song's called Sinner. So instead of thinking of oneself as a sinner, I'll be the sheik. Is like, is that a correct reading? Or? Um, I, I mean, sure, it, it's it's on the record now, but I, so you could, I guess that's a, that's a fair interpretation, but um, it was written, uh, I think, before I came up with the- The sheik concept. The, the title, yeah. Yeah. Um, but again, maybe that's part of subconsciously why I chose that, um, you know, to, to flow with everything else. So for you, what does the, the act of staying on one's throne? Uh, it's just remaining the kind of person that you're determined to be. Right. To me, um, you know, I'll stay on my throne instead of feeling like a sinner. Your throne is, is, you know, is your standard. Yeah. You're living by your own standard. Okay, so someone, especially if you're like an, a creative type, mm. I think almost any creative person will, will have been grilled at some point. Like, how can you be so selfish as to do whatever is involved in the process of, of, of creation? But it seems almost as if, especially in this song and at other moments in the record too, it's like, no, I, I know what my calling is, or I know, I know who what I am or what I need to become and there's almost there's even a lyric maybe you'll like it oh, yeah, I guess <laughs> which yeah, song is that? I guess I, I, I mean I didn't intentionally you know weave those themes in yeah um, not consciously anyway but um, you know while nothing is necessarily uh, um, biographical yeah um, I think that I, I guess I do kind of know those things about myself, you know, where I want to be and what I am and what I want to become. So I think that's that's a reasonable thing to, to assume that maybe some of that came out lyrically as well over, yeah. over the years. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about the becoming of um, yourself and the, the entity that, that is you, especially because by now there's like the mask that features yeah. in the Blackwater video that mm -hmm. we'll be zooming in on. Um, do you, does that mask 
Do you wear that outside of that video, like in shows? Um, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah. So, at what stage did that come about, and what does the idea of the mask and that specific mask mean for you? Um, I mean, I've always liked masks. I always had collections, and um, um, I had a couple members in my family from Africa, and they would. Uh, you know, uh, frequently bring back masks or things like that. Um, I just always liked them. I just like the idea of uh, maybe becoming something you're, you're not presently or don't feel you can be, mm. but then you put this thing on and you, you suddenly have the, you know, the courage to be um, what you don't feel you can be at that moment. Yeah, so it simultaneously masks who one is, but also transforms who one is. Yeah. And I think ultimately, if you can be something with with a mask, you you, you probably can be that without it. Without too. the mask, yeah. But well, to, to some extent, whenever we whenever one is performing, you know, one becomes this other thing. Just the conventions of okay, the, here's the person with the instruments and the microphone. Mm. Uh, so just of like the shift in relation with the the people that become listeners and audience. Mm -hmm. like, you know, this is transformation. Now, I, something that I really like about the Black Water video is how there are moments in the video in the song when you, you know, in the mask are in performance mode, mm -hmm. and there's like conventions of like rock and you know, you're shaking your head yeah. and uh, singing into the microphone, although you know we can't see your mouth because mm -hmm. you've got the mask. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there are other moments when you seem almost above <laughs> the music. <Okay. laughs> um, you walk away from the microphone yep. and other um, significant things are happening. Sometimes you're doing something in unison with the music, like the, the cutting mm -hmm. and, and the shaking. Mm -hmm. um, how did you, you... Were you working with a director with that? Or how, what, what, no, okay, no. so how did you determine um. what was to happen in this video? Uh, just in my in my in my head in my mind, I uh, I was just thinking about it and listening to the track and uh, had a couple ideas of. Um, I, was, I was also on a little bit of a of a time crunch, so I knew it needed to be something that wasn't too complex when it came to editing. I should take a page from your book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So it was just basically about the the spine of it was just um, to be simple, but. Uh, maybe through the simplicity a little more um, powerful or more um, strong in imagery. Um, so I, th I think there's only three cuts or like three or four, three. Yeah, yeah, three cuts. Um, and just, yeah, the idea of just, you know, performing through large sections of the of the song made, made more sense yeah. with, what I, with the materials and things I had available. Yeah, okay, well, we'll zoom in on a few of the moments that seem like symbolically significant, or even if not symbolically significant, just very striking. Mm. Um, and on the most general level, the symmetry of the video yeah. is significant, especially given like the importance of symmetry for you in general. Yeah. So um, there's a song called Black Tar and Symmetry, for example. So the video begins, as we can see, uh, with the back of you, mm -hmm. and you know we kind of zoom, we zoom in, um, and when the vocals begin, there's a pointing down, mm -hmm. um, which goes with the vocals, out on my own for the first time, out alone with you. What, what, at what point does the the pointing occur? Um, How does it? That is. <laughs> I think that's on I've been down. I've been down? Yeah. There we go. Point, you point down. Yeah, point down, yeah. Yeah. And uh, then on the words, you, didn't you, then we turn around and we witness for the first time the mask. Mm hmm. Okay, and then, uh, you know, before too long, there's some panning across and there's television, which will mm -hmm. be important later, and then. Mm -hmm. Microphone, which becomes important. You see, by now you're, you see everything it. that you're gonna see. Right. Yeah. The scene is set. Yeah. And we'll, uh, you see the, f the 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 other mask and the flower. And yeah. 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 Um, but then, yeah, at the end, you're back to that original point, back to us, 
your finger is pointing down and it yeah, goes kinda, up to the... Yeah, it kind of reverses. It reverses. In a, in a sense. So um, it's symmetrical. Yeah. What, yeah why is it symmetrical? I, I, I guess, like you said, I, I guess uh, symmetry is a, is a theme of myself. I, I think I do that with a few songs as well, retaining things or just even within certain passages. Um, or oh, the record as a whole. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Starting with that song I, and that, ending. I think it's the most, or well, one of the most um, interesting ways to end something is to, to bring somebody back to where they were, but in a way, the trick is to do it so they're not realizing that they're brought back. Right. You know, that that would be the, I think that's the way you, you get away with it is, um, it's almost like a trick, you know? It's yeah. A, it's a trick to be able to bring somebody back to where they were without them knowing. Yeah. And there's a sense of, are we in the same place or has something yeah. happened? And I mean, you must be there, you must have gone back if you ended up in the same place somehow, you know? So, yeah, it's one of those things. Does it relate to the because we were talking about like being and becoming, and you were saying you know process of being who you are yeah. or becoming who you are, and it's like it's interesting like shifting between those two words, like which is it? Um, I'm not like I'm not claiming inconsistency on your right. part in general when we talk about that kind of thing. Um, I think I, I, I am what I am, but then I'm also becoming what I am and also what I will be. In, yeah, I think in we all pure are. form. Yeah, or just, just yeah, just well, you'll impediments. definitely be different. Yeah. If you're if you're if you're living and living properly then you'll be in a different place whether it's better or bad. But yeah. Um, you'll, uh, yeah. So we have these cycles and then we return to something that's potentially the same but certainly not identical in a kind of yeah, I mean, I don't know if you would necessarily ever get to return to the same thing in life. Um, I haven't. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe when I'm older, I, I will return to things. But at the moment, I'm more in terms of, like, you know... New experiences. New experiences as amazing. much as possible, yeah, until I get bored of that. <laughs> <I suppose>. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then going back to the old becomes the exciting new thing. Possibly, yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, s something else that's striking about that video, so we'll we'll be kind of use, using that video as a kind of springboard throughout our conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll return because I feel like a lot of what we'll be talking about pertains to that song and that video, which okay. is not coincidentally the first like non-live video that you've mm -hmm. put out. Okay? Mm -hmm. well, we'll see some live video too. Yeah. Yeah. The beginning of that video. It says, black water, a moment. And then shortly after that, a circular system, which is why I was talking about mm. circles. Yeah. A circular system where movement is mentioned. Mm. And there's also, we see at the beginning of the video, like the division sign with yeah. the eye. Yeah. And then it suddenly, because I read like on Facebook that your genre was divisionary and then <laughs> and it suddenly struck me, oh yeah the, the vision sign yeah. and visionary yeah so um can you join any of those dots or expand on any one of those components those being it's a moment why a moment a circular system where movement is mentioned and the division symbol or being div divisionary yeah the, mo the moment thing is uh just it seems strange to say a movie or a, or a film or a music video or something like that. I don't know, yeah. I know those terms really appeal to me, so a moment seemed to fit it better. It just, yeah. it, to me, it felt like a, a moment. You're just in it. It's almost for that. So, yeah. kind of breaking out of like conventional ways of describing things to highlight to put people more in the present sure yeah like, here's the new music video from yeah, I, Thomas I think Aban, but yeah I mean I didn't think about it then but I guess there's um, connotations attached to um, phrases and things that will affect the way people experience it you know yeah if something is a you know the Tim blockbuster or something it makes you expect a certain thing or it yeah. Indie movie or silent, you know. I haven't experienced any blocks being busted. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Always disappointed when I go to the blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, but I, 
yeah, that's I, th I think that's where Moment came from, and then um, the choice to put a, a piece of text uh, semi near the beginning was just uh, not a homage, but just uh, I I was a fan of um, sort of German film noir, old mm. silent movies, old stuff. Not uh, not a film buff by any stretch, but I like a lot of the the mood and vibe. So I and obviously because it's silent, there, there's a period of something happening and then speech or text. You know, mm. it was just sort of playing with that that idea in something that has sound. Interesting, you know? yeah. And why a circular system where movement is mentioned? Why is that the text? Um, it seemed to fit what it is. I mean, I... The circularity of the video? Sure, I mean, I... I think by sort of tearing a part of something, that would kind of spoil it. I, I think it sets you up in a way that... Um, I think if you're experiencing it right, it might throw you off a little and then it... So, I don't know, something about it seemed right, yeah. with getting you in the mood almost, whatever yeah. that mood was, whether it was confusion or if you get it, maybe it helps, I don't know. I've noticed the similar um, attentiveness of, to like how things are described and awareness of the impact of description in even just like the show announcements that yeah. you make. Yeah. So rather than you know, the next show is on such and such yeah. day, join the happening. The word happen yeah. shows up quite a bit. Happen with us. Yeah. Is that correct? Like, am yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct? yeah. Why that wording? Again, it's just the same thing as the the moment. It just bores me or disinterests me to say the next show or please please come and support the yeah. you know <laughs> the next thing. That or, is but, that know, is boring. Like even as a musician, your friend, it's yeah. does I that. mean, it's 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 fine. It just doesn't interest me. Please share. You know. Comment. Yeah. It, I, <laughs> like be part of this moment. Yeah, yeah, it's getting at the exact same thing. You know what it means. I don't, you know, I don't need to explain that it's a show. If right. I'm telling you, you know, if yeah. I'm saying I'm playing somewhere, or there's a picture of me playing something, or yeah, um, there's a venue that plays music. You know, I'm gonna be playing music there. You know, I'm a musician. <laughs>